Looking for an easier way to set preload on your hydraulic lifters? Today in the garage, that's what we're working on. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin again with Yurkut Racing. We are back in the garage again today for another one on the LT1 build series. This time around we're going to be final installing the last head, dropping in our push rods and installing our rocker arms. Afterwards we will be adjusting the preload on our hydraulic roller lifters. Um, this process will also work with hydraulic flat tappet lifters. And it's a very straightforward process, takes out a lot of the guesswork. So hopefully this will help any of you guys that may have been struggling to get the preload in the sweet spot. So I appreciate you guys following along with the video. We're going to jump right in. Let's get it. Alright guys, so this is my little Emma. Turn around and tell them hey. Hey John. She wants to help daddy put the engine together, okay? That's what you want to do? Alright. You want to squeeze the button? Alright. One more time. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh no! I was hoping you right. Yep, good job. Right, next step, we got to put the last two studs in, Emmy. Did I help you do it? Yeah. So we got our other Cometic gasket, 5645, 040, 40 MLS gasket from Cometic for the LT1. Gasket is on, on to the head. All right, so we got the head and the gasket on. Now I got to take our ARP fastener lube, run it under the heads and the washers. All right, we got our first pass done, guys. I'm gonna come back in with the 55, and then we'll finish out with 70. All right, we're gonna run it back one more time through just to make sure we got them all. All right, guys, the heads are done. Now we can get our push rods and our rockers set in place, get them adjusted out. Then we gotta put some oil in here, prime our system. Then we'll put our oil pump drive shaft in it and we'll be ready for the intake manifold. So let's keep going. Got all of our rockers on here. Now we got to adjust the lash on them. All right, guys. So we've gotten to the point. It's time to adjust our rockers. I'm going to show you the way I like to do it. Um, I think it's the most simple, straightforward way to do it. It kind of takes all the guesswork and trying to figure out which lobe and this, that, and the third. It just simplifies the process quite a bit. Um, so the first thing that I do is obviously we're going to run the nuts down on each hole. Like if you see. I can wiggle the push rod up and down and you got slack there, you know, the, the rocker's moving. So basically we're just trying to get that out of it. And for this first step, it's kind of a feel deal. As soon as it starts going, I see some people talking about twisting it. I don't like to do the twist method because I find it gets the valves, um, 
it gets the, the lash set a little tight for my liking. Um, so I prefer to do the up and down method on the push rod once the lash, once it's zero and there's no more up and down, then that's perfectly at zero right there. And that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna do all of these first, both sides, so. <laughs> <clears throat> so now we've got all of them adjusted to where there's no up and down movement in the push rod. So now what we're going to do, we're going to rotate the engine 90 degrees or roughly 90 anyway. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. <clears throat> so now we are they're about 90 degrees and what you'll notice is that some of the push rods like that one's still tight still tight you see that got a lot of slack in that one let me see if i can get you closer get you a better look here uh tight tight loose tight loose tight loose i mean tight 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 tight, loose, tight, loose. All right, so now what we're gonna do, the ones that are loose, we're gonna run right back through, tighten those down the same way we just did before. Snug everything back down. Make sure that it's at zero lash, no up and down movement in the push rod. And that's about that. Tight, loose, tighten it down. All right, so now everything is tight again the second time. We're gonna rotate to 90 degrees again. All right, pretty close to 90, go back through, check them again. And basically we're gonna repeat the cycle. Uh, we'll probably do about three or I'll probably really, I'll probably do like four revolutions of the engine. Uh, just to make sure that we got it all, but see, like, you keep finding the loose ones as you go. Alright, so we've gone through all of them, we've ran it through about four cycles, checked them each time, everything's good and tight at zero lash I say tight it's that everything set at zero lash right now one last thing to do and that's to tighten all of them and set our preload um, I like to do a quarter turn of preload some people like to do as much as three quarters some people do half um, I just find that a quarter usually works pretty good for me so that's kind of what I'm gonna do so basically we're gonna go through start it all right so Quarter turn, past zero lash. Right. Uh, once we got the quarter turn past zero, we got the lock. Look at All right, same thing here. Alright guys, so I just ran into a little bit of an issue on this one. I'm going to have to run back through and readjust this one. Um, I noticed it because the set screw went way down inside the body where the rest of them are almost up here flush at the top. I had a lifter that was kind of hanging up here on the top and it just dropped in. So anyway, that's like I said, I'll have to come back and do that one in a minute. All right, so all of our preload is set except for this one now. I guess I'm going to have to run back through and do it where the lifter was stuck up. All right. All right, that's zero on that one. Quarter turn, lock it down. All right. Valves are adjusted, boys. 
All right, guys. So one thing I did forget to do was verify the push rod link again. Um, no, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So I kind of halfway skipped it, and then I just thought, well, maybe I probably better go back and just double check it to be sure. I'm almost 100% positive we're going to be fine on this one. But, I mean, it never hurts to verify it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just pop the number one off and check it, and we'll go from there. I don't have any die cam, so I'm just going to use a Sharpie for this. Just going to color the tip. And then we're going to throw the rocker back on. Adjust it back. I know I got the number one sitting up here where it needs to be. Now we're going to spin the motor over a couple of times. That did not show what I needed it to show, so. All right guys, so went back, double checked, verified it. Um, if anything, right now, they're probably a hair, just a hair long. Um, but as far as getting anything off the shelf quickly that's gonna help it, I don't think we're going to be able to find it. So we're going to roll with this. It's just barely off center to the outside. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you following along with the build and the channel. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.